Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I throw on my Funko HQ sweater because we're going to be unboxing a bunch of packages from the Funko shop. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we have four packages that I ordered, and then we have one that came in from Rob, Grant, and Audrey over here, which we're going to be opening up last. I'm really excited about this one. This one just has my address on the front. Actually... Since this is up here, guys, if you want to send anything to me and you guys have um, something that you guys would like to send, there you go right there, guys. It's that address right there. If you guys want to send anything to the P.O. Box, there it is right there. It's usually in the description of videos, but if it's not there, you guys can send it to right there. So, anyways, just thought I'd let you know. This is one that we're going to be opening up last because I'm really excited about it. I, I know what's inside of it, but I haven't seen it yet. So, I'm really, really excited about that. So, now we also have four... Funko Shop packages that I ordered over the course of like a couple weeks. I wanted to save them up and do like a big Funko HQ kind of Funko Shop kind of unboxing here. So we've got these four right here. Let's just get started with one of these. I actually don't know what's what anymore. Um, I kind of knew as they came in, but now it's just been a couple weeks. So I don't know. We're just going to get started with one of them here. Let me move these guys off to the side so we can get started. Um, I'm probably just going to do this one first. Okay, and I'll uh, flip it over to the other side. So this is all stuff, like I said, that I have ordered off of the Funko Shop. This is usually stuff that um, will come out on a Wednesday or a Friday drop. And uh, you guys got to be quick with these sometimes because the Funko Shop sells out quick. There we go. So let's see what the first one is. This is... Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, here we go. So this one here is... Oh, uh -huh. okay. Okay, guys, so here we have the werewolf. Now, this is from Scooby-Doo. Now, this is for their 50th anniversary. This is the limited edition one. I missed out on the Captain Cutler, but I have a lead on that one, so that's cool, guys. So we might be finally getting Captain Cutler. Um, maybe tomorrow, actually. So we'll have to do something about that. But anyways, guys, here is the werewolf. So one closer to completing my Scooby-Doo set. And if I can get Captain Cutler, all I'm missing is Scrappy. Um, I did miss out on Scrappy. We were at Fan Expo, and we had my mom and I both on our phones. It sold out in two minutes, so it was really hard to get. Didn't grab one personally, but I'm going to be looking for one eventually. Maybe at the next con we go to, which would be New York Comic Con. Maybe I'll look around for one there. Um, maybe at the Fugitive Toys booth might have one. I don't know. That's usually a good safe bet for finding one, but New York Comic Con's so big, there will probably be a booth with one uh, when we go. So anyways, there's that. Um, so Werewolf, really cool one. Super glad that I got that. It was one, again, that sold out really quickly. It is worth a bit more than, you know, the normal 15 like when you order it, but I'm not exactly sure how much that is. Um, maybe we could check in the end. I don't know. Anyways, let's see what we got next. Usually I just say they're 15 until, you know, I can actually sell it. Um, so, ooh, this is a good one. This one actually says on the side this time. Um, this one here we have from The Office. Um, I was really excited about getting this one. This looks too good. I like these guys. Like I said, I've been trying to get all of The Office Funko Pops because there was some new ones that came out yesterday. They were the, um, which one is it? Golden Face Jim. It was um, Andy Bernard. And then there was the Dwight with the blonde hair. But now we have Three Hole Punch Jim Halpert here. Um, so there's another one that I needed for the set. This one also sold out pretty quick. I think it sold out in like, 15 minutes if I'm not mistaken, but still really cool figure super awesome that I could get this one Here is Jim Halpert really awesome one. It's pretty much the same character But this is him in his Halloween costume three hole punch Jim because you can have him either way plain Jim or three hole punch Jim I think that's probably the quote they put on the inside here. Let me see I'm the three hole punch version of Jim because you can have me either way plain white Jim or three hole punch There it is right there. That's what I thought the quote was um, or something similar to what I said, but anyways, there it is right there again another Funko shop one these They've been putting out some really great Funko shop stuff recently There have been a couple that I don't think I picked up But I don't think there's been one in a couple weeks that I haven't missed or got well if I missed it It's because you know, I didn't get it like scrappy, but um or captain cutler But other than that, I've been pretty much picking them up every week um, So anyways, I'm pretty excited to see what else we got here. We've got two more Funko shop packages then we'll move on to the one um, from the Funko HQ there at the end. Let me move this off to the side. See what we got here. Oh, this, this is a good one. Let's hope it came in okay. Look at that, guys. Let's hope it's okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. This is the... I haven't seen this guy in person yet either. This is a crazy Funko Pop. This thing's too cool. Okay, guys, so here is the Rainbow Bigfoot. <laughs> This thing is over the top cool. I'm actually going to pop this one out of the box real quick. I wish they'd put some 
I wish the box was a little bit more colorful. I think it does it justice. There's still a rainbow behind the Funko logo, and then there's some rainbows on the side here. This was one of the Bigfoots that I needed for my set. I hope they make a flocked version of this one eventually. This thing is just too crazy. Look at that. Come on, Funko, you outdid yourself with this one. This one also sold out pretty quickly. I think it sold, sold out in like uh, 15, maybe 20 minutes. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but if you guys look here, the base that it comes on is actually pretty cool. It's a really wide base because of how big the feet are on this. The first Bigfoot was for Emerald City Comic Con, and it was a flocked Bigfoot, just the normal flocked one. It's the same mold again with this one. Um, here's this Bigfoot, and there's the base on it as well, guys, if you want to see that. Um, both feet fit into pegs there. Anyways, really, really cool figure. I'm going to have to take some photos with this one, guys. So follow me on Instagram if you want to check out some photos. Maybe I'll take them um, the day this comes out, so tomorrow for me. Um, I want to take a couple photos of this one out in my backyard, out in the uh, wilderness, kind of. That could be really fun. Uh, so stay tuned for those guys on my Instagram. I'll probably post a couple photos of it, just because this pop is too cool not to photograph. Um, and I'm really excited about getting this one. So there we go, guys. There is the Rainbow Bigfoot. Really, really cool figure. Um, if you guys got this one, let me know because that's something that I, I didn't expect this at all, honestly. Like, these ones are really cool. I like them. But the Rainbow Bigfoot's just one of those ones that Funko drops. It's like, uh, kind of like an instant grail. You know what I mean? It's so weird and random, but I, I love it. Anyways, that's my, that's my favorite type of Funko Pops that they make. It's just like those random ones that you would have never expected or maybe would have ever thought you wanted, but then as soon as it comes out, it's like, that's a must, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, so let's get into this one here, see what we got. This is the last Funko Shop one, then we'll get onto the Funko HQ one. Now, I mean, technically these are all like Funko HQ packages, I guess you could say, but you know what I mean. They're kind of like not, you order them from the Funko Shop, but you can also buy them at the Funko HQ. Okay, so this one here is actually a vinyl, uh, or not, it's a vinyl figure. It's not a uh, Funko Pop, it's one of their vinyls. Um, they kind of make the Retro Freddy 4-inch ones. This is one, I think this is the superhero one. This is the one for the Freddy Funko show. Uh, let's go, here goes. Yeah, this this thing's too cool. I'd have to say, this thing's crazy. So this is the Freddy Funko show one. This is Super Freddy. Um, here he is right there, guys. Really cool figure. I think this thing looks great. Actually, let me pop it out of the box real quick so I can show you this one a little closer up. Because this thing doesn't do it justice in the box. Um... Oh, the cape looks great. Look at that. I mean, come on. Funko does great with their vinyl figures as well as their pops. I mean, like, all of their figures look great. I especially like the way they do the flowing stuff, like, with the capes and that going one direction. It looks really cool. You could put this on, like, the top of, like, a corner building if you were to take a photo of it, and it would look like the wind's blowing this way. I think it's really cool. It also comes with a little stand in case he doesn't stand, um, which is always nice as well. Let me see if I slide this back in here. There we go, guys. Um, so there we go. This Freddy Funko retro vinyl figure it looks really great. I know they do the... They had older Freddy Funko figures that looked like this, and that's why I think they're calling it retro, or if it's more of just like a retro style for the head and body and everything. Let me see if I can slide this in there. Or if it's to go, I don't know if it's to go with the older vinyl figures that Funko used to do, or if it's just because it's like a retro style, but either way, I really like it. Anyway, so there's the four things that I got from the Funko shop. Now let's get onto this one here. So if you guys don't know, um, Rob and then his kids, Audrey and Grant, are actually uh, a family that I met when we were at the HQ. Um, they were so nice. We talked to them for a long time. They, they've been helping me out with uh, some things. Um, they were actually trying to get me a Captain Cutler, but I, I grabbed one, so it's all cool. Um, but thank you so much for helping. But now they actually, when I sent them the... Uh, the Tiny Ghost, the Canada Tiny Ghost, they also wanted to help me out with something that came out at the HQ. Of course, a couple days after we leave, some really awesome t-shirts came out. Um, but let's check this out here, guys, because I'm really excited to see these. They, of course, come out with like three, I think it was like two or three really cool shirts as soon as we leave. So here we go, guys. Yeah, these. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so there's also a letter on here. So let's read this before I show you guys the shirts. Um, it says... Tristan, glad we could help get these for you. Happy hunting, Grant, Audrey, and Rob. Your friends from HQ. Thank you guys so much for this. So let's check these guys out here. It looks like just the shirts in here, which is really awesome. So these are the two shirts that look great. Um, so here is the one, guys, that I want to show off. Actually, I don't know. I haven't even seen these in person yet. So here's the one. This is this one right here. And it, I haven't actually seen what it looks like. It says, Funko Headquarters Established 1998. Everett Washington and this is kind of like the ones that were like at SDCC that you see Sully wearing sometimes in the um, the Funko episodes over on their channel go check them out guys um, but there's this shirt right here really 
really cool. I like the green, especially on this one with the giant Freddy head. It's kind of that retro Freddy style there with the Freddy Funko Show one. And then it also has that little logo in the corner there, which is really awesome. And then the other one, actually, these fit great with today's video. It's funny that we did this. And then the other one is this right here. So this is the... Let me flip it around see if I can show you it. Okay, so this is the one that is... Here. here we go guys so this is the Bigfoot with the Everett Washington and it says Funko headquarters down there really cool shirt this one also goes with the Bigfoot so really matching with today's video anyways there we go guys thank you guys so much for helping me out with these these were some really awesome shirts and I'm so sad that I couldn't get them when we were there they came out like three days later which was so annoying but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you just want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters thanks for watching See you guys tomorrow.